All right, guys, another install video for you today. I'm gonna to be installing docking hardware to my 2020 Electric Glide standard right here, right now. Let's get into it. I just wanna watch out not to drop the bike. So that's it, the bike is out, ready to be installed. As part of my uh, upgrades, uh, I'm gonna include a sissy bar, some kind of a rack, a uh, cargo rack in the back. So for that, I, all, all that, I need a docking, uh, a docking system. Get, of course, the Harley docking system, checked online. Again, found out uh, the price and looked for alternatives. Was able to pick up a nice, hopefully it's gonna be good and useful alternative on Amazon, linked out my description. A third of the price, I'm going to be installing it right now, see uh, the quality, the finish, the install, and hopefully you find this interesting and useful. Before I even uh, jump into it, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that bell so you get notification every time a new video drops. If you do enjoy this video at the end, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, it really helps this channel. As everything with a bagger, start by uh, removing the bags. One is off, now the other. Okay, both bags are off, placed over there. Now for the actual hardware stuff. One and two torques. Let me see what torque size it is. And once I take these two out, I need to take out this, this placeholder. Same thing on the other side. Let's get the right tools. When I was ordering, I had to decide if I'm going uh, chrome or black, vivid black. And it was like pretty much the whole bike, this whole uh, bike theme is uh, black with chrome in it. So it was what balance you want between the chrome and the black. I decided to go black because uh, the sissy bar and all the attachments on the back, I'm probably gonna go vivid black. So, so here it is, this is what I got. Oh yeah, this is yesterday's war war wounds you can check out the video of the install yesterday so this is pretty much the uh the hardware like i said i got it in vivid, in vivid black looks solid looks uh nicely finished doesn't have the harley price tag on it and uh hopefully it works as well these two pieces and actually it comes with hardware four washers four bolts t40 T40, that's what this is. I think it's actually a piece of plastic, chrome plated plastic, or it feels like, a, I don't know, plastic or very light aluminum. Let's do the other side. That was simple and easy. And while I was shooting, I just realized, uh, I just noticed that I actually never ever uh, played around with this guy, with the adjustment for the, uh, for the shocks in the back and i weighed 180 about 180 pounds i didn't find any problem with the, the setup right now do you guys have any knowledge or any understanding what setup or what uh adjustment what reading you put your uh your shocks uh, i'm curious to know maybe i can actually get a, an improvement in my shocks with these shocks of course not changing the shocks yet but if you have any uh, options, right now it's set on eight. It's set on eight and I'm 180 pounds. So if you think I have, I can have a better ride with better settings, please let me know down by the comments. Thank you. 
Okay, so these guys just slide carefully into place right into here. And you wanna make sure the orientation is pro uh, as, as you see it right now. The bigger, larger, longer uh, stud right here goes up front and the whole uh, bracket itself uh, is tilting inbound rather than outbound. So it just goes sliding in gently and carefully both sides. As you can see, right here inside the hole, fits right over there and right over there. Let's put the hardware, let's put the bolts in. So this kit actually includes hardware, which are uh, bolt, Allen head bolts. And their head, as you can see, is uh, way thinner or smaller in diameter than the stock, as you can see right here. Uh, you see? And that's why they actually include these washers. The problem is, if you, put, if you decide to use the provided hardware, these washers will not fit in here, will not fit in. So one option is, if you decide to use this, uh, what you need to do is pretty much take this washer, put it here, and with a small piece of tape right here on the top, uh, glue it, and then you can actually slide it slide it in here it will stay in place okay and then you can thread this bolt this bolt in and the washer will still be in place otherwise do what i'm doing simply use the harley original uh torx bolts i'll tighten it and now to your question do i use loctite on that well, I'm not sure, tell you the truth, but what I'm looking at is I'm inspecting the previous original bolt and it came with no thread locker. And since this, uh, this uh, area is really easy to access and to inspect, I'm gonna leave it without Loctite and I'll inspect it in a f uh, after a few rides to see, take the bags off, see if it, got, if it loosened up or not. And if it did, then I'll tighten a little bit more. But for this application, no blue Loctite. Now let's do the other side. So that's it. Tighten both of them, both sides. Now let's see what it looks like. Guys, all I can say is I'm pretty impressed. Impressed? Well, how can how impressed can you be from a piece of metal? And in that in that aspect, why why would you charge $170 for a piece of metal? The the Harley part. Anyway, I got this one on Amazon. Again, link is down by the description. It was pretty easy to install. Actually, very easy to install. It looks like a solid alternative. All I need to do is actually get a piece of hardware that would actually bolt onto that and see if it actually has the right measurements. I suspect it does. Okay, let's get the bags back on. And we'll take a walk around after that. Tell you what guys the bike has come a long way since i bought it all the upgrades all the changes all the touches i'm really really liking it how about this the latest branding attempt is that that is part of what's going on you guys are awesome you're the ones that are actually growing this channel making it happen the channel's been growing really 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 nicely every day more and more subscribers and it's all thanks to you guys you guys that keep watching and commenting and enjoying the content I'm trying to put out. Another step in the branding, holy shift right there. Thank you so much, guys. Hope you really enjoyed this video. 
appreciate now if you can give me a little thumbs up over there. And again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe channel. How do you like this 2020 electric light standard? I'm loving it. Guys, I'm Sandy from Holy Shift. Until the next vlog, peace out. Yeah.